all right what is up guys hope you're having a great day you're looking at julian's way here and today i want to talk about this guy right here you know who he is yes yeah, seth ferrosi i want to talk about him coming back but before i get into that for those who do not know who seth is seth is a great guy i've been watching him and following him a long time on youtube before i even really got more into bodybuilding like nutrition advice and stuff like that i've looked at a few of his videos and breaks things down also his truck runs about giving advice about life and how he uh, dealt with certain situation adversities and just pure motivation about getting up kicking ass and getting stuff done so yeah really has a great channel i think he's doing a podcast and stuff now and still doing training videos you can go check it out it's set for oc and guy talks about drugs he's talks about what he does you know he's not sure quoting anything he's not hiding anything he's telling you and trying to educate you to tell you get more education if you're trying to get into drugs he's one of those few real guys out there and maybe after he came out and said certain things then i started seeing a few people coming out and trying to be like real like that but it's not going to be easy for him to compete knowing that well you know he's a family guy and all that and take care of his family of course and when you have that sort of responsibility you've got to you know consider your family so for him to just do a comeback like that i guess it's not going to happen just like that it might take a while and considering the fact that just recently he had a a tricep tear i think it was like earlier this year i do not quite remember but it was earlier this year he had a tricep tear and this is really what he looked like before that tricep tear we all know so yeah well not all of us but those that know him how big this guy was not even training to do shows just staying like lean all year round and huge jacked and after the tricep tear this is what he looked like he lost some size this is was one of his uh, recent videos that's the same arm of the triceps you can see that there's a little scar down there but he's still lean you know he's that's that's what it really uh look mm -hmm. and admire about him he's still lean and stuff like that so he's really keeping it together and he's trying to get back there and i know he can he can overcome mm -hmm. that he's that kind of guy that will do what he has to do now let us see what he looked like back when he was bulking in the day this is what he looked like now look at this guy the beard is gone guys there was no beard back then this was the yep that's him yes posing i do not know entirely what year this was but this was like maybe like years ago maybe 10 years ago or less i'm guessing so this here look at this man this man is huge just imagine him looking lean and peeled what he would be like on that stage and yes of course he've done shows he's an ifbb pro and i know he had talked about coming back i think it was uh in the days of louis marco had an interview with him and he does talk about he did talk about coming back and giving flex some trouble up on that stage and i hope he does though however you know i hope one day he does come back and he recovers now this is what i'm talking about who is this man here who who is this guy 2009 npc championships is is this set for Rosie? Look at this man. Look how peel this man is. Jeez damn. That is really top grade conditioning. Without a doubt. I'm not exaggerating. Just keep watching and you'll see the details and lines. Everything is done back here hardly see conditioning like this like the last guy I, I thought i see like this like i know i know patrick moore was lean at the olympia and all that was uh hardy you know this kind of conditioning is a lot of work it's a lot of sacrifice you can see that there was a lot of suffering just looking at the physique you can see that he dieted hard i would love to see him back on stage and I think he had gained some muscle before that tricep injury. I do not know about his lower body, but I'm sure his legs are still up to par. He did post something recent on Instagram. You can go check that out. But uh, yeah, he definitely is holding some size still. And so I had to actually re-edit this video just because of the podcast on Hani's channel. Go check that out. 
You will love it. It's the best bodybuilding podcast. Maybe one of the best, if not the best, I've seen in the longest time. On on the whole, all right. It it was it was really deep. It was it was great. So I just had to. It was that good. I had to came back and re-edit the video just for that. All right. So go guys. Uh, check it out on his channel. It's on his channel. If you don't know uh, Seth or whether you do not know his story. Go check it out. I guarantee you, you'll love it. So, all right, that's about it, guys. Until my next video, peace and take care. And do not forget to hit the bell button, give a thumbs up, and like, share, and subscribe. Peace.